Hi, greetings from sunny Barbados. My name is Tim Palmer, executive chef of the Royal Pavilion, and this is my sous chef, Jackson. Hi. Today we're going to uh, be cooking from our home here in Old Town. We'll be baking some uh, local banana bread. All right, so what we have here today is a simple banana bread recipe. Uh, we've got some local bananas that we've uh, kept and frozen. We pulled them out now just to use them for today. Uh, some local uh, Barbados cane sugar, eggs, baking soda, vanilla, butter, flour, uh, local Bayesian flour, and uh, I think Jackson's favorite, chocolate chips. Now we're gonna get my trusty sous chef Jackson to put in the bananas. Okay. Dump them in. Sugar. And the butter, buddy. Okay. All of it. And perfect. Now we're gonna add our egg. Vanilla. And just the baking soda now. Now we're just gonna mix this on medium low for about a minute until everything's emulsified together. Now when we're mixing it, we don't want to mix it too hard because ultimately we want to have nice little moist chunks of banana throughout the loaf of banana bread. Now that the uh, banana butter, everything is all mixed together, uh, we're going to slowly incorporate some of our flour now. Let that get all mixed in slowly. And we don't want to overwork it. There we got our flour in. Now what we're going to want to make sure we do is it's just slowly incorporated here. We're just going to quickly scrape down the sides to make sure that all the flour is incorporated properly into it. Right. And now everything's just incorporated together. Here comes Jackson's favorite part. <laughs> We're gonna add those in. Here you go, buddy. Okay, all of them? Uh, I think so. Okay. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's one for you. <laughs> Alright, so briefly now we're just going to turn it back on, just to incorporate those chocolate chips together, get them all coated with the batter. Now, just scrape off any excess batter from our mixer, and here we have our batter all together. Yay! Great, so now we have our banana bread batter all together here, and we're going to put it into our little uh, mini loaf pans. What we've done is we've gone ahead and buttered the outside, and then just floured them, so to make sure that they don't stick. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna fill them about three quarters of the way. And They're gonna puff up in the oven. And you don't want it to overflow, because if it does, then it might just get everywhere. Now a little trick that uh, we like to have, well first off, we're gonna just pat them down so it's nice and even. As a bread like this, uh, breakfast breads or shortbreads, they, they'll crack as they leaven in the oven. We want to manage it so it looks nice and pretty. So what we do is we just take a pocket spatula, or it could be anything a spatula, just dip it in a little bit of oil, and we're gonna put it in, and we're gonna make a line in the middle. Allows it to crack evenly. Great. Now, we're gonna put them into the oven, 350 degrees. Uh, these are a smaller loaf pan, so they'll take about 30 to 40 minutes. Anything a little bit larger, say a traditional a uh, nine inch pan and it's going to take about 50 minutes. So we've had our banana bread in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes and we're going to just pop it out really quickly here. So here we have a perfectly baked uh, banana bread loaf. We're just going to double check. We're going to stick a knife or if you have a skewer into the middle and as long as it comes out nice and clean or if it has chocolate on it. Or if it has chocolate on it. Uh, it's ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly here, we're gonna unmold it. Be careful, cause it is really hot. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. And now, we're ready to eat. Is this, do you wanna eat this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still warm and hot. Mm. So we have our official uh, taste tester here. Penelope is going to try the fresh banana bread. Mm. <laughs> is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Does Jackson want to try some? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you take the spot with all the chocolate. I see. Thank you, everyone. Please remember to stay safe, keep cooking, and we'll see you again soon. Pleasant appetite.